Before we study chemical reactions in detail, first we're going to look at the atomic theory. The atomic theory has four main points. First is that all matter is composed of atoms, and within a given element, all of those atoms have the same chemi chemical properties, meaning if one atom of sodium reacts with water, all other atoms of sodium also have that same reactivity. The third point is atoms combine in whole number ratios, and when two or more elements are combined, you make a compound. And the last point, the most important point, is in a chemical reaction, atoms are neither created nor destroyed. And this gives us the law of conservation of mass. In other words, if you picture atoms as the building block of matter in a chemical reaction, the connections between those blocks are rearranged, but we don't create new blocks and we don't destroy the old blocks. So for example, here's a picture form of a chemical reaction. The starting material on the left is called the reactants. What you end up with are called the products, and the arrow represents the chemical change that takes place. So here we have two different elements, one's represented by a circle, and the other is represented by a triangle. Notice the element that's given by the circle has three atoms connected together. So we have a molecule made up of three identical atoms. During the chemical change, we get new connections between the atoms. Now we have two circles connected to one of the triangles, and the other triangle is now connected to the third circle. That's one possible reaction. The total number of atoms is the same on both sides. Three circles turn into three circles. Two triangles turn into two triangles. So if you measure the mass of everything, the mass of the reactants has to equal the mass of the products.